I've had a lot of people ask me how to, uh, well, check their PSP if it has custom firmware and how to get into the recovery menu. Well, you go to uh, system settings. System information, and as you can see, I'm running 3.90 M33-3. Now, if your PSP just has three point, just has the numbers here, but nothing at the end, it does not have custom firmware. It could be 3.40 OE, and that's Open Edition. That's what it stands for. But this is M33s. I have 3.90 in here. Now to get into the recovery menu is pretty simple. Hold the power button down until the power completely shuts off. Hold the R trigger down completely and keep holding it. Turn the power on. Wait till the recovery menu shows up. Remember the recovery menu is only in custom firmware. I'm going to explain what some of the stuff does in here. Toggle USB is the same as if you use USB Connect in the XMB or the main menu of the PSP. Configuration. I'm just going to go quickly through this. Skip Sony logo. It skips the logo that on startup. It doesn't show the Sony logo. Hide corrupt icons. That's if you're using uh, kernel 1.5 homebrew. If you leave it to... Uh, if you leave it uh, disabled, then uh, you'll see corrupt icons on the screen. Game folder, homebrew, current version 3.9 kernel. A lot of the games are made for 1.5 kernel, and some of them are really picky. You have to put them in the game directory. Basically what that lets you do is, if you switch it, you can switch it to 1.5 kernel, which a lot of the older homebrew work runs on. 1.5 kernel only works on the PSP FAT, which I have. You can uh, auto run the uh, stuff on startup, basically, it looks like. Um, UMD mode, uh, this is uh, if you're playing backup ISO files. Normal mode requires that you have a UMD disk, which is the disk that goes into the place PSP. Fake region allows you to play games that uh, are made in different places, like China and so on. Same for the uh, reg ummed region, same thing. Hard reset on homebrew, basically that completely resets the uh, PSP every time you run a like a homebrew application, a homemade application that somebody wrote. Use VHS, VSH menu, which is when you're in the XMB, you press select and you get a menu. I'll show you that later. XMB device, UM, currently UMD disk. This should actually be set to uh, memory card, but I'll switch that in the... Uh, VHS menu, VSH menu. Now this is new, uh, newer in the newer firmwares. You can actually update your PSP over the internet with custom software. You don't even, it doesn't download it from Sony, it downloads it from M33, which saves you from having to download it. You just go into network update connect to uh, a wi your Wi-Fi and then you can update your this is for recovery purposes if uh, your PSP bricked for some reason it wouldn't start up properly anymore but you could still get into the recovery menu it will allow you to recover your PSP to uh, 1.5 kernel I'm not sure if it works in, uh, on the PSP Slim advanced I recommend you pretty much stay out of there but I'll show you what's in there it lets you uh, access your flash 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 0 through 3. And uh, I recommend you stay out of there. There's more advanced settings here. I'm not sure what they do. Unless you know what you're doing, I would stay out of the advanced settings. 
plugins is another thing that uh, once you've started to work with the PSP, you understand what they're for. Pick key P is for my keyboard here that's hooked up to my PSP. And um, I just have it enabled in the VHS, VSH menu, basically in the menu of the PSP. The CXMB is custom themes. That's another keyboard driver for in a PSP game, but it's kind of buggy, so I leave it disabled. Pops Loader is a PlayStation 1 emulator. If you want to know any more information, just search Pops Loader for, on Google. And there's another one for the older homebrew for the keyboard, but that's the recovery menu. Registry hacks is just so you can enable and disable the uh, you, uh, the uh, Windows Media Audio and the Flash Player. Oop. See, I just toggled the USB. Anyway, you just there's the recovery menu. So I'm going to show you the uh, VA, VSH menu in the PSP. As you can see, I'm in the PSP. This is the VSH. See, I have operating it with the keyboard here. But the VA, VSH menu is basically this. It allows you to uh, change the uh, CPU clock speed in the game in the XMB menu. I'm also going to put my uh, setting back to memory stick because it was set to when you toggle the USB to read the UMB, UMD disk that's inside my PSP. Basically toggle USB is the same as if you go to USB connection in your PSP and you press. And that's basically quite a bit of information on what the recovery menu is for and what the settings do. I'll show you a little bit of homebrew for a Super Nintendo emulator. This is, uh, you can chat in MSN and Yahoo as a built in keyboard driver. This has maps in it. You can go on Google Maps with it. This is uh, a virtual network connection. You can actually connect to a computer and control it and see what's on the screen. Very useful. Kind of a bit difficult to set up, but I've been around computers. This is a Wi-Fi uh, sniffer. This is a homemade game. This is the installer for the keyboard driver. This is a uh, Sega Genesis emulator, Doom. This is a PlayStation 1 game, a few PlayStation 1 games in there. PSP radio button. This is one of my favorite to homebrew applications because when I was a kid I used to collect a lot of uh, mod files, which are just basically music. In fact, we were <laughs> that background music was a mod file. PSP is pretty busy with this one. Each one of those is a separate channel. This is the uh, data going by, the different notes and stuff. 